The Manual of Psychedelic Support is a Guide, a work in progress, now available on the web, and is for free to share and reproduce as long as you attribute its original source. Basically, it was created for the public domain, written by 40 authors in four years. We meet one of them, psychologist Sva Nielsen, in her house in Switzerland. To explore with psychoactive drugs in concerts, electronic dance music parties or festivals, some participants may have psychologically difficult or physically dangerous experiences. Was the manual of psychedelic support born because of this? Um, I think it was born because we were um, a lot of, of people working in Boom Festival and also in other festivals like Burning Man. And we felt that we had gathered a lot of knowledge about how to help people with psychedelics. And in the beginning, uh, I have to say that the idea of the manual uh, that we had was something smaller, something more like really handy that you would have in your pocket uh, to do this kind of work in festivals. In the end, it's a big book, <laughs> but it's, it's how it evolved. What is the main goal for this manual? Who is a direct target for it? This manual is first is about what uh, you can do to have uh, what we call a safe space to help people who have a um, difficult trip with or without drugs. So I, I would say that this is the first aim. If you have a festival or an event and you want to set up a, a safe space, this manual can give you hints about how to do it. Um, how to do it um, logistic-wise, because you can have in this manual some lists of what is good to have in this kind of, uh, of, of space. And of course, what is good to do um, in the relationship with the people that you will, wel will welcome. And um, what I know also is that the manual is, is uh, now used for people who are organizing this kind of space, like in Boom, they, they, because there is also a, a part in the manual on the training, how you can train your team. So, and this is very well done and very specific. So this, this part can be used nearly like this to train a team in a, in a festival. Are psychedelic substances appropriate for festivals? For me, um, Psychedelics are a very powerful uh, medicine, a very good therapy, and I would add, not in a festival. <laughs> so the thing is, the manual is, is, is a way to, to help people who, who uh, decided to know and to use psychedelics in festivals, and usually it's not the very best place to do it because there is far too much information around you, there is far too much people, and it's, so the setting is not really good. So I would say that it's, um, it's a way also to, to introduce people. This kind of work is really a way to introduce people to the fact that psychedelics are okay, are good, but in a different setting, it can be really, really a powerful tool for personal growth. It can be a very good um, shortcut to a lot of um, evolution of consciousness. Is this guide a more scientific or a spiritual one? I think that if I if I think about the 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 people that are the editors and that really involved a lot of time in this project, I would say that it's more a spiritual um, thing, like a mission that we really wanted to do. There is a paper that has been published, so the scientific part has been done too. But I think the manual is more about. Uh, Yes, with a spiritual uh, mission, we felt uh, to, to bring this uh, knowledge. Did the Boom Festival give you the knowledge and background for you to elaborate such a complex manual? Well, we were two people in the beginning to start this manual and we, we met in, in Cosmic Air in Boom Festival and, um, and then most of the people who wrote uh, in the beginning, they are from the Cosmic Air team. And I think that Boom just 
gave us so much um, they, they gave so much input in this work yeah, it's one of the only place in the world that the, that this is possible to do this work not underground because I mean even in Burning Man they do it very underground Do you think that by creating and sharing information you can also be doing apology to the use of psychedelics? I think it's really, I mean, Portugal is a good example that it's not the way it, 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 it goes. If people have more information, there is more prevention and people do less stupid things. So um, this is really our idea. We're not, we are not uh, encouraging, we're just uh, putting out more information about what is already going on and it should help other people not to do the same mistakes. Finally, besides being distributed by the Boom Festival in its 2016 website, I suppose this great information access will be printed in a book as well? I'm trying to find a way to have it printed in the UK and uh, yes, I think very important and then we can, we can sell it to very, for very cheap prices in festivals and places like that.